Welcome to Business Ninjas, brought to you by Write For Me, where you'll hear from business leaders who are out there growing their business and slaying it every day. Learn from the masters. Let's get started. Hi, welcome to another episode of Business Ninjas. I'm here with Dasha Binovich of Front Desk Helpers. How are you doing today, Dasha? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got started with Front Desk Helpers. Well, um, we started back in 2015 and we were offering call center and dispatching services. Uh, we also had additional telecommunication and IT for healthcare and logistic industries. Uh, so, as you know, it was long before 2020 and COVID pandemic. So it was just our beginning of implementing this model of virtual offices. And it attracted various entrepreneurs from other niches like real estate, uh, construction, delivery, and medical institutions. And uh, I have to mention that we started as a small team and we were doubling the number of employees every year. And now in seven years, our team provides remote services for more than uh, 170 specialties. And we consist of uh, about 120 dedicated and very passionate people um, from over than 30 countries. And we speak more than 11 languages. Excellent. I, I imagine that position you uniquely to thrive in the pandemic where others were scrambling to find a new business model. Uh, tell me a little bit about what problems you solve for your customers. A lot. <laughs> uh, well, firstly, uh, firstly, uh, we relieve businesses of additional expenses, uh, expenses sorry, um, from the need to have an office, to have office staff to pay for paper for all of that. Taxes also. So it's, it's better to use just uh, remote employees instead of uh, hiring the full office of people. Okay. So this is why it's, uh, it's a good thing. And this is why it's needed. And Excellent. People... And what makes you guys stand out from your competition? What differentiates you in the market? Oh, well, uh, a lot of things. Uh, give me just a second to think. Um, uh, firstly, firstly, we have uh, long-time traditions because we're pretty old. We're seven years old, so I think I can call it long-time traditions. And also, we have excellent professionals uh, that we have gathered throughout these years uh, who provide impeccable service, uh, problem-solving, and customer who are customer-oriented. Uh, we also provide a company solution for any business based on uh, dedicated remote employees and remote teams. So yeah, Excellent. we also have strong back background with HR. Excellent. So. Speaking of customers, who are your customers? What are what is your ideal customer profile? Uh, well. <laughs> Our clients are represented, uh, representatives from businesses of any size, from small to largest ones. And most of our clients are um, businesses, business owners or assistants uh, who require remote services. So those are our clients. There you go. Well, everyone loves an origin story. What is the what was the very beginning of the company? What's the origin story? Who had the idea? How'd you go to from zero to one? Uh, well, it was our leader. It was Angelica. You know her. Um, and it started when she moved to New Jersey in twenty, uh, not twenty, in two thousand and six. Uh, yeah, so firstly, she was working as a bookkeeper in the beauty industry. And then in 2015, she 
started this company and she began with two people. And I got to say that one of these people is still a part of the company. She's still working here. Excellent. So, yeah, well, that's that, how it started. That speaks to uh, her energy and how well your company's run that people want to fight in the trenches for that long. Um, what kind of value has content marketed added to your company? Oh, uh, well, I think it's more of a question to Vlad because he's our marketing guru. Yeah, uh, we uh, use content marketing for promotion and it can be social media or updating our websites. And uh, it, it, it is used in every channel we have, sale channel. Because uh, this time we have a small part of our team dedicated to create this content. But anyway, there is no, no time when we, we don't need uh, text or multimedia content to publish. Excellent. And how does your company generate revenue? Oh, well, <laughs> we create long-term relationships with customers. That's that easy. Uh, so we create teams of, of the, this remote specialists with a team lead who is responsible for trainings and professional developments. Uh, and when our client hires a single agent or a number of ones, we take care of uh, all of the accompanying ser services like telecommunication setup, digital services, sort of marketing and business analysis uh, options. So that's how it works. You are a company that does not say the word no very often. That's true. <laughs> What's something that you'd like to be celebrating for your company or personally in a year from now? Oh, in a year from now. Wow. Ah, good question. Um, well, firstly, um, I would like to be celebrating, um, well, firstly, the family gathering <laughs> uh, or team build building, as uh, others call it. Mm -hmm. but we call it family gathering uh and also i guess multiplying our team by helping even more clients to save up and giving the customers the best quality support that's what should be celebrated and we want more and more of uh, entrepreneurs to open those and many other benefits of uh outsourcing so i would like to celebrate that that's an excellent answer. Please tell us what's your URL and how can people find your company? Uh, it's uh, frondeskhelpers.com. Okay. And and what media, uh, what social media channels do you guys use more than, than not? Our favorite one is Instagram. And so visit it. What's your, what's your, uh, your hashtag on Instagram? Frondeskhelpers. Fair enough. Dasha. <laughs> Vlad, thank you so much for taking some time today. It's been lovely to get to know you and, and your business. And thank, thank you, you so for much being on for another having episode us. of Business Ninjas. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it.